It's the first day of Fully Charged Live and there's all kinds of excitement going on in the wing at Silverstone behind me. But I'm here with this and this is very exciting. So the thermal camera company Fleur have very kindly lent Fully Charged one of their very swankiest um, thermal cameras. And you know, our eyes are brilliant things but they can only see a tiny part of all the light that's out there. And some of the other light in the infrared is glowing around us all the time. We can't see it. But if you've got a camera, it can show you that hidden world of, of heat. And just looking, looking at everything is exciting, but we're gonna take a little drive and there's Tesla in a second, but I can look at it here and the, you can see the inside is really, really warm. It's glowing. Um, and then there's all the metal, the shiny metal bits are quite cool. The tire, the, and the tires are amazing. So if I come in here, you can see all the internal structure inside the tire, and you wouldn't normally look at it, but on here, some bits of it are glowing brightly because uh, they're really hot, and the rest of it is really cool around the outside. There's no hiding anything on this camera. Um, so, and, it, oh, and it's really funny because I can see the light on the, the side flashing there, but there's nothing on here because it's not generating any heat. So, we are going to take this camera out with this car and see what happens inside the electric vehicle the bits that we can't see with our eyes but where the energy is going and where it's leaking out of this amazing machine that's going to tell us a little bit about how it works that building's leaking heat out of somewhere that there's the charger is that hot uh nope no one's been using that it's amazing because tyres are normally black and we associate tyres with being black and on this they're all bright white. Oh, that car that just went past on the track. That, that is hot. <laughs> and I have never said that about a car in my life. So we're just having a look at a Tesla going past us and there's so much detail. Oh. The thing that's brilliant about this is that the tyres are bright white. We think about tyres as being black. Oh, he's coming around again. Focus quickly. And you, you can see that the front tyre is really lit up. The back tyre is fine. He's zooming around that track here to get ready again. It's such a great game. Should we stop there? The, the lovely thing about this is the detail, the things you would never normally see on the car. And we're going to compare this with the, there's these petrol engines that are zooming around the racetrack just over there. And I reckon the difference between this nice EV over here and those extremely noisy things over there is going to be quite dramatic. This is really cool. So one of the things about infrared that is a bit surprising is it reflects really well off some surfaces and it's reflecting off this road. And so it's quite hard to get underneath one of these cars to see up on the inside. But when they're driving along the road, you can see a warm glow coming from underneath. And I reckon that might be the battery, heat from the battery reflecting off the road and making its way into the camera. There's all these tiny details that you just wouldn't see. It's brilliant. So we're looking for the glow. We reckon the battery is going to be glowing. It's pretty warm under here. What is even better is I can see the cars going past on the other side of this car. Bright little light zooming past. Yeah, it's about 22 degrees underneath. It's not, which is warmer than the surroundings, but it's not super hot. And actually, you know what is great? On the tyre treads, let's go right in here on the treads. Even though it's been sitting here for some length of time you can absolutely see where the tires have been touching the ground i reckon that you could assess the state of your tires using this because the smoother they are the more uniform the temperature will be and you can see that these have got super hot in some places and not so much in others such a good toy 
All those little details are electric vehicles are brilliant, but this is the real test. We've got a Nissan Leaf and a diesel powered Ford Focus. So we're going to set these two cars to do the same lap to warm them up, see what's going on when the engine's really running, and then use the thermal camera to look at them afterwards. And out in the big wide world, people say, if you want to know what's going on, follow the money. And in the world of physics, we say follow the energy. And this is going to be a really good indication of how energy is moving around these cars and how much extra is being leaked away that isn't actually going towards moving the car. So we're good to go. Three, two, one, time to go. So cool. You can even though they've only done a couple of laps, the, you can see that the diesel engine is glowing and the EV is actually quite hard to see against the background because it's basically the same temperature as its surroundings. Right, if I was a cat looking for a nice warm place to hide on a, you know, on a cool day, I would be on this bonnet. I can feel that and this one is cool to the touch. So even without any swanky cameras, this is where a cat is going to sit. So now we get to look with the real detail and see whereabouts all that heat is coming from. But the difference is astonishing. On the, the diesel engine, it looks as though under the hood, there's just something like liquid lava that is, you can see the heat leaking out of all the gaps around the hood. Um, and the front wheels are nice and bright uh, and the radiator is radiating heat and it is astonishing because the electric vehicle is almost fading into the background you, it's exactly the same temperature as its surroundings the, the exhaust pipe is just lit up it's like a light bulb in the infrared that thing you can see that is where the heat is coming off this car and of course our friend over here hasn't got an exhaust pipe no heat coming off there and this is this hidden world, right? You know, we walk around in the world and we think we've got great senses and we think we can see whatever there is. And actually, there's a huge amount more detail in the world that we're just ignoring. Maybe if this technology had been available earlier, people would have uh, adopted electric vehicles a little bit earlier. It's like second sight, it's amazing. And now, I want to go and have a look under the bonnet. <laughs> So the, the temperature scale's just adjusted itself because it's so warm. And all of this... Look at that. 30, 36 degrees. Something down there is 50 degrees down the back. And the brilliant thing here is that engines now look like a load of similar blocks. You know, you look under the hood and it just looks, there's all these pieces that kind of look the same on the top. But under this, they're all completely different colours. So the thing that is really shining out here is down there, and that's the coolant, as you would expect. It's been warming up on its way around. Um, and then everything underneath, you can see the small bits of metal, and there's a huge amount of heat just stored in here. So. The amount of energy it takes to heat up all this metal and liquid is enormous. It's not doing anything to help the car run. It's just um, hanging around under the bonnet. So then we're going to have a look at uh, the Nissan Leaf. And the temperature scales have all just adjusted themselves. So let's see. So basically the only thing here that is at all warm is that small box there. So the difference is just amazing. You know, 50 degrees in that engine, all kinds of hot lumps of metal. And this is all just having a very uh, calm day out in the sunshine. And it's exactly the same temperature as the surroundings. So there's no heat being wasted here, or very, very little. Um, I knew there would be a big difference, but I didn't think it would be this dramatic. Uh, everyone should have one of these, they're amazing.
so that was our little investigation. We've discovered that electric vehicles give off almost no heat, no wastage going on here. And our friend over here, you can see that this is a technology of the past, less efficient, it's just radiating heat that we can't see. I love these little details, it's super cool. Um, and it is the kind of thing that we can do uh, here at Fully Charged Live, so many bits of excitement, and this is just one of the things that's happened today. So thank you very much for watching.